Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to create and how to use add-ins in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. In one of the previous videos we learned how to create custom functions and here I have a workbook with the name customfunctions.xlsm and I have a function, a custom function in the backend and let me first show you what this function does. So the name of the function is single cell extract and here I have the data, I have country and I have the sales rep name for each country and then I have these country names here and what I'm doing is I will use this custom formula to take this as the lookup value and then it would fetch all the matching sales rep name for that particular country. So let's say if it is India then it would, it would give back Joe, Sam, Jane and Akash because these are the four matching sales rep names for this country. Similarly for US it will check for all these names let's say here it is Jack and Jane and Joe and Sam. So it would give these names in a single cell separated by a comma and a space. So let me show you how this function works. I would type single and you can see that this function gets shown in the IntelliSense. I press tab to autocomplete and then it doesn't show me any help menu but I know what the arguments would be. The first argument is the lookup value. I would press comma and then I would select this range. I would press F4 to lock it and then I would select the column number which would be 2 in this case. And now when I press enter you can see that it gives me these results these names in a single cell and I can do this for all these countries now this custom function has made life so easy I don't want to I don't have to do it manually and I don't have to go for other tricks so this custom function could be something that you have to use again and again in various workbooks. Maybe you are getting such kind of data from a database or from a colleague or maybe you are collating it yourself and you need to use this function on various workbooks. Now to do that one way is that you go to the VB editor. Let me press Alt F11 to go to the VB editor and here I have the function, the code for the function. One way is that I copy this and then I paste it again and again whenever I have to use it. So let's say I open a new workbook, I would press Control N. It opens this new workbook book 1 and if I try and use this function I will not be shown that function because this function does not exist in this workbook and if I have to make it available for this workbook one way would be to go back to the VB editor and then paste the code for this workbook so if I have to do this I would come here I would have to paste this function here insert a module for book 1 and paste this function here uh, but this is not the most efficient way if you have to do it for many functions let's say 20 custom functions or it could be 20 functions and 10, 10 procedures then it's not a very practical way to go back and copy paste it again and again in various workbooks uh, the workaround for this is to save this as an add-in and then you can make this add-in available to all the workbooks and uh, then you can keep on editing the add-in you can add more functions you can add more code to it and that would be available for all the work workbooks whenever you open a new workbook so the first thing that we need to do to save this as an add-in is go to file and here we would go to save as and I would come here and open browse and within browse I would change the Excel macro uh, enabled workbook type I would come here and I would select dot XLAM which is Excel add-in if you're using 2003 or prior versions you would have to use dot XLA in this case let me select dot XLAM and see what has happened as soon as I selected it you would see that it has automatically changed the location of the file so Excel, Microsoft Excel has already provided a default location where you should save your add-ins and it's a good place to save your add-ins but it's not necessary that you have to save it here only you can save it anywhere so let me go to the desktop and here let me save this and let me call this uh, single cell extract so let me call this with the name only you can call it with any name you want I will call it single cell extract and I save it now if I go back to the desktop I have this uh, single cell extract add-in and you can see the icon has changed. Now to add this icon to a workbook say in this case it's book 1 and to add it 
to this workbook I would go to developer and I would go to add-ins when I click on this button it opens the add-ins dialog box and here you can add add-ins which are available which would be available for all the workbooks so to do that I would first have to browse it I when I browse this and go to desktop I have this single cell extract dot xlam file I would select this file and I would click OK and you can see this is add-ins type as soon as I click OK it gets available here and now I can simply click OK and that is it now this function is available for this workbook or any workbook for that matter let's try this and you can see this function is now available which was not the case earlier if I go back and if I copy this data here and I try and do that thing again let me use this function and I would take this as the lookup value this would be the range let me press F4 to lock it and the column number would be 2 and now if I hit enter you can see that this function is working so I don't have to take the longer route of making that code uh, copy paste again and again for different workbooks I can simply make it available as an add-in now this add-in is available let's try again I open a new workbook this is book 2 and if I type this name single cell extract it's available here let me close this workbook now what if you have to make changes to the add-in file how do you do that so to do that whenever wherever you are in whichever workbook simply press alt f11 to go back to the VB editor and here have a look at the project and you would see that you always have this project available which is VBA project single cell extract dot excel am this would always be available and when I open this you can see that there are modules and this is the module where I have the code now let's say I do not want comma as a separator I want something else and you want to make this change here then you can simply delete the comma and remove it maybe let's say this pipe symbol and now I can click anywhere uh, in this VBA project I can click here or anywhere and press save button and now your VBA add-in has been saved the changes have been saved here now you can go back and let me simply update this so as soon as I do this you can see that comma has gone away and now we have this pipe separator and similarly you can add more code add more functions add more procedures to it now you can save this add-in anywhere you can save it in a desktop if you want you can save it in a shared folder and then you can even email it to other people and they can add it to their workbook so this is the way you can create custom functions you can create your own codes and you can have it available across workbooks now if you do not want other people to have a look at the code that you have created then you can protect the add-in as well so to do that let me press alt f11 and here what you need to do is go to the VB project VBA project where you have the name of the add-in right click and go to VBA project properties and when I click on this it opens this dialog box VBA project project properties and you have the protection tab here I would simply select lock project for viewing and I can give a password to it in this case let me give the password as one two three four five and I would confirm the password and as soon as I click OK again I need to click somewhere in this project maybe it's this VBA project or any object within it and I can simply go to save button and now I can close this and I would also have to close the Excel workbook so if I close everything and I open a new Excel workbook let's try and go back to the VB editor and see if we can view this code or not and when I click on this plus icon you can see that it shows VBA project password and I would have to key in the password to view the code if I key in the right password then it would open this for me and now I can view this module so this is how you can also protect an add-in and then when you share it with other people they will not be able to see the code so this is how you can create add-ins and you can then use it across workbooks. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.